Our platform provides a great system to do email marketing for your business. On the left-hand panel, click Email Marketing out of the menu options. It'll bring up our email marketing menu to where you can go and select everything going on with email in your business. At the top, you'll see our email builder, which is the page that you land on. This is where you can see a history of all of your templates and things going on. You also have the templates tab. Here's where you can select templates that you create. You can also create new templates to be added here to use later. Trigger links. Here's where you can set up links that are special that as customers click them, you can track them, but you can also trigger actions based on what people click. For example, maybe you feature a product in your email and when someone clicks on it, it triggers another event in your business. Trigger links are great to add to your email marketing. We also have an HTML builder where you can build your own HTML emails. Down below, we have a history of everything that you've created. We have all your templates that we'll post here as you create them. Scheduled will show you all the emails that are scheduled. Sent will show you all your past sent emails and archived will be the ones that you've archived. To create a new email, click the create email button. You can start by selecting a template. There's a couple of beautiful HTML templates that have already been created that you can tap into. Maybe you want to update your customers on products. Maybe you want to send out a blog entry. Find the one that works best for you and start from there. Once you click on a template, it will allow you to open it and see what it looks like. Once your email is inside, you can build it just like you do with our web browser. You can select images, you can add in text, dividers, social icons, and more. All you have to do is grab the thing that you want to add and drag it over. Here you can customize the text just like you can on a web page builder. Edit your email to your liking and as you're finished, now it's time to review and send. Before you do, what it'll do is provide warnings to make sure that you've got everything set up correctly. As you can see here, we didn't set up a from address, a subject line, or even who we wanted to send the email to. Therefore, it's going to stop us from sending this. What we need to do is go back into our email and click settings. Here's where you can change the from name, the from email address, your subject line. You can also do your preview text as well. And then give it a name to save it for your internal use for later. Once you've filled out these things, then you can click send or schedule and select who you want to send it to. If you've already been using smart lists, this is a great easy way to select specific contests to contacts for your business. So be sure to check in and see our video on smart lists on how to set this up. Once you have one, just click the drop down box and select which smart list you want to do. You can also send to specific con contacts if you want, highlight them and add them in. Once you've got everybody all set up and you're ready to go and it says send now, you can either review and send, or you can do a different option here. You can schedule your email for a specific time. You can drip it out to a few prospects over time, or you can send out as an RSS feed. Once you're finished, you can review and send. Or if you want to see what your email looks like, you can send yourself a test email by clicking this button. Add in the address that you want to send to and the subject line, and you can test your email. You can also preview your email by the actions panel. Once you're finished, click review and send and make sure that there's no more errors. After you've already fixed all these issues, click the send button and it will start sending your broadcast.